Hello, I'm a super judge and I'm here with my beautiful wife Gloria and we are so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now before we go into today's broadcast, let's call in our daily bread. Say, say this, just make this declaration with us with confidence in your heart. Say, Father, Father I, receive today I receive today my daily bread. My daily bread. It's coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for today's broadcast. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because your presence is here with us. And because of your presence, we declare now, burdens are lifted, mm. yokes are destroyed, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, yesterday, we were talking about, I know we ended up talking about your mistakes. Yes. Thinking the mistake I have made in my life will stop God's plan from being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Now, listen. If God has set forth his plan, you know, he, he actually says, I am God. I don't change. Mm -hmm. His plan is more important to him than even you are willing to ask him for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. yeah. So God doesn't just sit down there and say, He has blown it. He has blown it. There's nothing I can do about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not God. That's not God. That's not God. Mm -hmm. He will actually come to you and say, Hey, what have you done? Do you remember Cain? No, yes. Cain. Cain mm -hmm. killed his brother Abel. Mm -hmm. And God still showed up to him and said, Young man, what have you done? Now, I believe if at that point Cain had been killed, mm -hmm. so funny enough, you know, God really didn't punish him. Now, it doesn't mean he condoles such things. He doesn't condone it. But he told Cain what, what was the result mm -hmm. of his action. Because now he had made the earth to drink the blood of a human being. Mm. So he says, this earth will never let you mm. set. Mm -hmm. Isn't last week we talked about the vagabond spirit? Yeah, last week. Well, not on this broadcast. We're talking about sharing this. Talking about the vagabond spirit. I think we'll go, we'll go up to that in this, in this uh, series of teaching on family, family matters. matters. I want to talk about the vagabond spirit. Yeah. Now, well, just go on and, and continue with us where uh, mistakes are concerned. Yes. And I just want to draw our attention to the fact that Abraham had received command from God that he was going to be a great nation. And then it's even his wife that made him to make this the first mistake that we read about how that he, you know, had um, Ishmael. Yeah. True Hagar. Now, sometimes in the family, yeah. maybe your wife is the reason why you made a particular mistake. It could be a financial mistake. It could be something related to work. It could even be you're dealing with your children yeah. or dealing with someone outside. And then you can allow that to cause a separation in your home. You can allow it to become a stronghold and then you allow the enemy to thrive in your home. What are we supposed to do in circumstances like this where, you know, for whatever reason, there is a mistake that has been made? You still go back to the Lord. You don't say, oh, I made a mistake by marrying this woman. She's the reason why I am behind. Because you hear so many things going on in the home between the husband and the wife. Sometimes when they are loggerheads, maybe they are having a misunderstanding, you hear all sort of words coming forth. Mm. The fact that you have made a mistake, mm. or you realize you've made a mistake, mm. doesn't make you wise enough to correct that mistake. That mistake by yourself. And you, know, you know, just said something. Mm. You know, okay, man wakes up and, and just feels or believes that he's married the wrong. So what do I do? Mm -hmm. The fact that you feel 
you marry the wrong guy doesn't mean you say I, I want to amend my ways mm. by sending the wife away. away you are still acting with the same mindset with which you married her. Mm. you married her by your decision now you think you can just throw her away by your the decision, decision. Mm. meanwhile was it God that said you made a mistake in the mm -hmm. first place? Mm -hmm. Now, we, 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 see, all these things we are talking about, we are talking about it, where, where we are conscious that we are talking primarily to God's children. Yes. Now, if you are not a child of God, you may not fully understand what we are talking about, because you'll be wondering, oh, what are these people saying? Mm -hmm. So if you are not a child of God, the first thing you need to do is to get saved. Yes. <laughs> Come into our family, then mm. you begin to understand, understand how our family Works. reasons. Yes, you know. So, so we we don't do anything now. First and foremost, you are not supposed to even marry without finding out the mind, mind of, of God, God concerning this person. Yes, or concerning your life. Mm -hmm. Now that's one great problem. I say and that's what produces the mistake most times: mm. lack of vision. Most families don't have a direction. They are not headed anywhere. They are not headed anywhere. And Abraham was going somewhere with the Lord. As a single man, yeah. he was going somewhere with the Lord. Now, most families, Christian families, mm. Mm. you ask them, what's the purpose of a man? They really can't tell. Um, um, so, and God said He'll give me a help with help to do what. To do what? So people now in in in, in leaving. Okay, now married. Next we start having children. Mm. Next we start raising these children, training these children. Let them go to school, mm. and then they finish. We are again. working. We are doing our own stuff, mm. and and let's see where life will take us to. Mm. Do you do you do you think of the future and, and in God now? No, not think of the future. My son is going to be an engineer, mm. or think of the future. My son is going to be a medical doctor. It's not about the profession or what they become in that life, but mm -hmm. who they become. become. Who they become. So if, if, if my children or if my son is going to become a medical doctor, who is going to, who is this medical doctor? What kind of medical doctor is he going to be? You understand what I said? Who, who is he going to be? Mm -hmm. When people meet, meet him, him, who are they going to meet? Mm. How is he going to walk that practice of a medical doctor? How is he going to do it? So, first and foremost, I think there must be a vision. Yeah. So much so that when somebody sees you or someone who have dealt with you before, now have a dealing with your child later, mm. he is conscious to like, come, do you by any way know so so and so person? Yes, that's my father. Oh, I said it. And not because of the way you look. Mm. But hey, your actions, your, your words, your what you are producing mm -hmm. reminds me of someone Somebody. I have done this deal with before. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> that, that's what, it, what God meant by Abraham will command. Mm -hmm. You find out that there is a consistency in Abraham's life, Isaac's life, mm -hmm. and, and Jacob. Jacob's life. Yeah. And one, one consistency you find there is the consistency in the promise oh, of the God. blessing. Yeah. The same things God said to Abraham. Mm. He said the same things to Isaac. Isaac. He said the same things to Jacob. Jacob. Meaning, there was a vision for their life and they were going in that direction mm -hmm. number one number two you find a consistency in their choice of 
marriage. Now, now, when we talk about family, like marriage is so very key. Key. Mm. Listen, if you're not married yet, you need to listen with your two ears open. Okay. <laughs> God. There is no way you will have vision or walking by vision. How or something, let me put it this way. How, how do you know that there is a vision in your life? By the kind of instructions I and commands you receive from the Lord. So now you find God telling, or you find Abraham, because we don't have a record where God told Abraham this, but in practice, mm -hmm. we know that God had commanded him. Okay. So we find Abraham telling his servant, don't swear that you will not allow my son to marry from the daughters of Canaan. And then he told him specifically where, where? to go to. Yeah. So he didn't just say, don't marry anybody, you can marry anywhere else. No, 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 no. no. Now, why did they don't marry here? Because that was their residence. Mm. You know, they were living there. So, mm. like, look, it's so natural for my to son to grow up yeah. and see one beautiful girl. I say, mm. well, I like this girl. Mm. Well, let me get married to this girl. Mm. No, but, but you see, God was too careful. Yeah. And told them, look, this is where you must marry from. Mm. Okay. Does God still do the same thing today? He yes. does. Very well. Now, guess where he sent Abraham? Now, you find now Abraham did this for Isaac. And then you find Isaac doing the same thing for Jacob. You find this in Genesis chapter 28. Mm. You find Isaac doing the same thing for Jacob. He called, now, he called Jacob. See, Abraham called the servant and said, go look for a wife for my son. Mm. But then Isaac called Jacob himself and said, look, my son, don't marry yeah. him, these daughters mm. of Canaan. Mm. I'm sending you to go down to your mother's family. Mm. <laughs> you know, so that that's like our family. So mm. hey, it's a family thing. Yeah. So it's the same reason a a a born again believer should not be seeking marriage with an unbeliever. Believer, yes. That itself can affect the blessing of God in, in your life. life. True. Seriously, can affect the blessing of God in your life. Cause you, you wanna know why was God too particular about this thing? Now these are things. These are these are things I knew many years ago. So I knew. Look, to avoid stories that touch, to avoid <laughs> any manner of trouble, mm -hmm. I made up my mind. I said, Lord, you know what? I'm not gonna make any commitments like this where marriage is concerned. Exactly until I hear your voice. So I'm going to do everything possible to hear the voice of God concerning the person I'm going to get married to. Yeah. And that's how I got married to you. <laughs> and that's how I got married to you too. Because <laughs> I also had God. <laughs> it's not enough for the man to say, oh, the Lord said I should marry you. You should also go to the Lord and ask, is this my husband? You have to get it clear. Because I saw all these things. Huh? Mm. Why was God so concerned about this thing? Mm -hmm. It means it's very serious. Really. I know the Lord taught me this. That was how Esau lost his grace. Mm -hmm. Now, now, you, you know, our time is up. <laughs> oh, dear Lord Jesus. Can we just pray? Can we just pray? Father, Thank you, Jesus. we pray for everyone watching right now. It doesn't matter how convinced they are that they have made a mistake when marriage is concerned. <laughs> Lord, you are the one who can fix anything. Yes. Yes. We ask that you guide them yourself. Mm. And let your truth manifest before their eyes. Yes, Lord. And let them begin to walk by that truth. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a
best day ever today. God bless you. Bye-bye.